Okay, here we have another calculus optimization problem. So Morpheus sells 1,000 packages of sleeping pills every month at a price of $12 per package. Suppose that for each $1 increase in price, 10 less packages would be sold. At what price should Morpheus sell each package in order to maximize the revenue? So what is the revenue? Well, revenue is price times quantity. So it's the total amount of money that you make. Price times the quantity sold. So currently the price is $12 per package. And the quantity is 1,000. He sells 1,000 units at $12 each. But now he knows that for a $1 price increase, so if I add a 1 times an X here, we'll discuss that this X in a moment, 10 less packages would be sold. So we can subtract 10 X from the 1,000. So what does the X represent? The X represents a $1 price increase. So each $1 price increase reduces the quantity by 10 dollars, or sorry, by, by 10 units, not dollars. So a $1 price increase. Okay, now what shall we do? First, I'm just gonna expand and simplify this function. So I will start by foiling first, outside, inside, last. 12 times 1,000 is 12,000. 12 times negative 10x is negative 120x. x plus 1,000, sorry, x times 1,000 is 1,000x. And 1x times negative 10x is negative 10x squared. Great. Now, let's combine like terms. And I'll bring the negative 10x squared right over here. It's nicer to have the highest, the variable with the highest power first, right? Um, okay, or the element with the highest power of the variable. Then negative 120x plus 1000x is 880x. And plus 12,000, why is it plus? Well, it's positive, right? So if we're bringing it over here, we're adding it. Now what do we do? Remember that our goal is to maximize the revenue. And how can we do that using calculus? Well, we can take the derivative of the revenue function and set it equal to zero to solve for x. And that should give us the maximum revenue, or rather the x value that will maximize the revenue. The revenue function will look something like this. It's a, an upside down parabola, right? So at the highest point, the slope will be zero. So that's why we set the derivative equal to zero. So the derivative of negative 10 x squared, I can bring the two down, negative 10 times two, negative 20 x. Now two minus one is just one, but I don't need to write it. So that is the derivative of negative 10 x squared. The derivative of 880 x will be just 880. And the derivative of 12,000 is just zero because that's a constant. Now we make that equal to zero. And then we solve for x. So I can subtract 880 from both sides of the equation. I can bring down the negative 20x. Zero minus 880, just negative 880. Now I can just divide both sides by negative 20. Look at that. Great. So negative 880 divided by negative 20 is 44. Fantastic. Now what do we do? What does that mean? Well, 
Remember the question, right? We At what price should Morpheus sell each package in order to maximize revenue? X represents the number of $1 price increases. So the new price should be 12 plus 1 times 44. Remember that this here represents the price. So 12 plus 1 times 44 is just 44. 12 plus 44, 56. Wow, much higher than before. But that, that's because he can get away with it. He's going to sell a lot less, but he's going to make more money. Now, the question is also asking, are we done? No, we're not done, because we know the price that will maximize the revenue now. It's 56. Now, what is his maximum revenue? Well, we, now we can plug the 56 in for x for the revenue function. So, oops. Revenue is equal to 12 plus 1 times 44 times 1,000 minus 10 times 44. And this, by the way, represents the quantity that he's selling at that price of 56. So that's just 56, and we're multiplying that by 1,000 minus 440. So we get 160. And by multiplying them, we get a total revenue of 31,360. And that is the maximum revenue that Morpheus can make by selling the packages of sleeping pills. That's it. Now I suggest, of course, that you try more questions like this. Perhaps watch more videos. And good luck.